I'm gonna do one right quick. I'm gonna do one right quick. And look, no, this one, this one is the one I was gonna tell you about, Baltimore. This is the one I was telling you about. Look, this is the one. This give me one second, and I'm gonna let y'all roll. Thank y'all for rocking with us for a second. Um, and this is no disrespect to nobody else. Um, this one is called Black Woman, I Have a Mother. That's a black woman, I have a daughter, that's going to be a black woman sometimes. So uh, let me go ahead and do this right quick before, before my muses leave right quick. Alright, so this one's called Black Woman. Alright? Black Woman, I praise you. Oh, how I love you so. Your melanin in every shade provides very tangible evidence. Yo, yo, yo. Black woman, I praise you. Oh, how I love you so. Your melanin in every shade provides a very tangible evidence that there is a great God somewhere. Only his imagination to conceive such a masterpiece from your essence, your mere presence, and most notably your evidence. Black woman, I thank you. Because even during the slave trade, you remain the most prized possession. How is it that we as a people are kind of three first of persons but you were still the most sought after treasure. Black woman, you've always been priceless. True rubies and diamonds made out of immense pressure. Oh goodness, you've been, you've been great for so long. No unit could measure your persona. You, you reinvent yourself daily, discovering new, your new beauty. Can we respect the mic, please? I'm trying to get into this. Oh, good that you've been great for so long. No unit could measure your persona. You reinvent yourselves daily and discover new beauty. Your very nature is emasculated, then imitated. Your curves have been counterfeited and your features fabricated. There are two things I don't agree with in the Bible, but yet it makes sense, so follow me. It's hard to believe such a beauty will come from me. There is no way that an entity, borderline deity, was formed from a bone alone made, from a not for a bone, and alone made you. But I get it. Because the rib that you were taken from was the one that lived with my heart. So from that aspect, I give you all of me to show you how terrible you are really are. The second thing is that you're the reason for our doom. You ate that apple and told Adam to do the same, and he did. But again, I understand. Because there is no other I would rather follow to my doom than you. You are the state of, you are my state of euphoria. So for that reason, so for, so for that reason, so if you are the reason why I die, then that's why God made you my heaven on earth. I owe you, black woman, but I'll never be able to show you how much I really, you really mean to me. So I wrote this ode to you. I'm gonna tell you that, man. The people that just came in, I don't know what the hell y'all was doing. I don't know if y'all was like fighting or something. Hey, man, did I get somebody talking?